It's one of the most iconic images of the Troubles. IRA leader Joe McCann wielding a gun on the streets of Belfast. He's reported to have killed 15 soldiers. But the 24-year-old was unarmed when shot dead by British troops in April 1972. His family had waited nearly 49 years for a trial. It collapsed in a week. The judge was right when he used the word appalling to describe the failure of the state at all levels in relation to the murder of Joe McCann. The RUC failed, the criminal justice failed, not only in this case, but in the case of many other families. This ruling does not acquit the state of murder. This ruling does not mean that Joe McCann was not murdered by the British Army. This trial has heard very clear evidence that Joe McCann was murdered by the British Army. He was shot in the back whilst unarmed from a distance of 40 metres, posing no threat. The accused, identified only as soldiers A and C, were charged with murder. The case collapsed when statements they'd given were ruled inadmissible. The judge said it was remarkable that the soldiers had never been arrested and questioned by police about the shooting of Joe McCann in this street in 1972. Statements they'd given to the army shortly afterwards and to the historical investigations team in 2010 were precluded because they'd not been given under caution. Veterans have called for an end to historical prosecutions. Former Armed Forces Minister Johnny Mercer, who resigned over the issue last week, was back in Belfast supporting them. He says this case raises huge questions. The judge has been very, very clear about the credibility and the admissibility of the evidence. And in the meantime, these two soldiers' lives have been ruined over the last 10 years. I think it's deeply unfair. It's unfair on all sides. It only seems to make the legal teams happy who make a lot of public money from this. You know, the Prime Minister promised to introduce legislation to curb it. He needs to get on with it and do it. The past is never far from the present here, but the passage of time makes historical prosecutions almost impossible. Cold comfort for families demanding justice. David Blevins, Sky News in Belfast.